Uh, hi everyone. So my name is Perry, and uh, uh, thank you, thank you for your time to listen to my presentation. And uh, my project is about the ultimate log sweep assessment. So, so first of all, I can just discuss a little bit about the project background. As you know, currently a lot of harvesting is changed to the mechanism, just like ninety five percent is for all log process that the covers uh, set and. Uh, but the sweep can only measure manually in the harvest set. And uh, so there is the opportunity to automate, automate the sweep measurement, uh, so to improve the, the value recovery and the productivity. So this project is based on the computer version, the deep learning and artifactual intelligence. And the uh, next one is the object uh, for this project. So, so, first, so first step is preaching the log recognize mode, which can automatically detect uh, where the log is and uh, draw the shape of the log. And the second one is based on the shape of the log, you can automatically cal calculate uh, the sweep of the log. Bas basically, it's based on the mode model. And uh, so, but before we go we dip through the results section, I got to find the sweep first. So basically, there are two pictures. Uh, you, how, how you measure a sweep manually. So the, the difference between this, these two methods are just like the how you define the deflection. So the sec obviously the second one we got second one is more accurate because it is using the midline of the log and the the curve the curve of the log to calculate the deflection. So method two will mainly use the in this project. And uh, for the sweep specification, as you can see from the from the one picture right side, uh, the first. Uh, First the table is the domestic uh, domestic sweep sweep classification and the second one is the export for the exporter. Uh, because we don't have the actual log length in, in this project, uh, so we we're gonna use the a sweep ratio to you know as a metric and metric to to define the final final sweep, which is which is using the deflection divided by the small in the diameter. And uh, so if we got the sweep ratio, we can just compare with with the parameter before the parameter issue in the table, just like if you if the log length is smaller than three point seven meters, you can just compare to one eight one eight, and if it's large than that, the sweep is not acceptable. So after that, uh, there has a coding coding environment for my project. I I will not go deep through this stuff. It's a little bit complex. And uh, but the one thing I want to say is. I use 100 manually annotation pictures. These pictures are clipped from online YouTube video, so it's, the quality is not you know it's not so high, but uh, it's useful. Right? And uh, for the result section, as you can, uh, for the result section, as you can see from the picture right side, uh, uh, the top the top one is it recognizes the log automatically and uh, draw and the blue. The blue area is a, is a the blue area is a mask, which is the shape of the log. And uh, on the left, uh, on the up left corner of the of the picture of, of, of the orange rectangular, you can see they got a steam and uh, a number. The number is the accuracy of the of of the model to detect the log. So basically, it's zero point nine six percent of the model sink. This one is the log. And uh, after you got this more, after you got you got the Detect the detect the log, and uh, you can extract all the pixel points from the from the blue mask, which is which is you can see from the bottom picture. They got a a large blue large blue shape, and uh, I draw the fitting curve and the uh, midpoint curve. This 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 all stuff was done automatically, and uh, the curve function the the fit the fit curve function is computer as well. And uh, the max the, the maximum difference between these two, two between these two lines is the deflection and uh, the small and and the, and you got the deflection you can divide by the small in the diameter from from the from the side the small the small in the diameter will will be decided uh, by the mode automatically and uh, as you can see the blue area is actually a lot of small points connected together to. To make to make it like a blue shape, but actually it's all pretty small points. It's all pixel points. And uh, this is from the side view of because of me, because the actual log in the in the horizon set is in the three three D view. So you, you I I gonna show the one more 
wheel is from the top top wheel, which you can you can this this is put the camera in on top of the processor head, so you can look down to to see actually how the how the log moving, and uh, it's similar to the previous one. You can the the shape is the the blue area is is stored on the right side, right hand side, and the fit curve function is calculated automatically, and uh, and then you get a deflection, and you can get a sweep ratio. And uh, the next one is the uh, mode evaluation. So how good is how good this mode is? Basically, uh, it's basically you can see the up, up right corner the, the graph shows uh, as I the, the the up right corner pictures the, the axle x axis to the airport which which is how many times the the overall data was trained. Basically, it trained it trained twelve times. And uh, the accurate, the mean accuracy, the mean pre, mean average press precision is increase, increase, and uh, the y axis is just percentage. So basically, this graph is shows how the how the model is how the, how the model is increase increasing as it learn more more times. So when it compared to the basic mode basic basic master's mode, it's twenty and twenty five percent higher than the basic mode. So after that, I gonna show so so the previous all picture stage. So I gonna show you one video demo, so which is, which is could be de developed in the future. So I can. So as you can see, when the log was come out from the processor head, it it auto it detect the log and in the you know in the real time and it's, it can be achieved in the real time, but because of the my computer is a little bit, uh, you know, it's a little bit bad, so I can't actually attribute it, attribute it right now. And some time constraint, you know, it's hard. It's it's not uh, attributed right now, but the picture stage is attributed. So for the for the for next one is the challenge and the, the future consideration. Basically, we don't have the actual log length, so we can, but we can interface the log length with the mode uh, from the processor, so you can. Actually, divide the sweep into different class, class, and uh, the whole and the whole project can be packed in, into a excludable file, which is, which is there for testing and uh, and this is only for the sweep. But uh, there are some condition is like multiple sweep condition, so we call it a warp warp. And uh, this one this one is it's not it's, it's not tested in my mode, but uh, if you if if this if this condition can be slow the you know just changing the calculation method. I think it will it, it can be achieved, but I didn't test it in my mode. So and, and the next one, some people probably will ask you, how about the gravity? How are you gonna how are you gonna do read to the gravity? But in the actual situation, if you actually achieve the video stage, the, the video, it, it will it will actually not affect the log because you can detect the log in the real time. And the next one is the environmental factor, just like the a bench sh shading and uh, some rainfall will affect the image quality, but uh, it can be achieved as long as you just train, train more, you know, data sample, and the, the, the machine will remember this situation. So it will fix it. The next one is the training data set, which is if you put a higher quality and uh, more data set, it will, the model will be better. Yep. And the, the summary is like the currently the automatically calculated sweep in picture stage is achieved. And, but the result accuracy can be increased at the real time web camera can be tested. Yeah, that's all my presentation. Thank you for your listening. Thank you, Jason. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Han. Yeah, very impressive for those of us who aren't that competent at uh, AI or some of those advanced uh, computer applications. Uh, question from the audience here, Mr. Han. <laughs> Firstly, but so so I'm looking for a clarification. Does your does your algorithm tell us what the measure of the PCB is? Does it tell us? No, I just the, is, or is you giving us a reality? It's just the, in the picture, in the, in the in the pixel, in the picture, you know, just like because I using sweep ratio, the deflection and the small the diameter are all in the pixel, you know, measurement. So it's, we don't have yeah, we don't have the parameter for the log length, just like the, just like what I showed in the future consideration. The log length is because we don't have the 
actual parameter from the camera to the load. Okay. So we can't go to the actual list, but I can go to the vision. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So sorry, just for the uh, Zoom audience, uh, the question was, do we actually have the dimensions of the log from the AI or from the imagery? And, and Perry just explained no, uh, but also uh, I think you said if you interface with uh, basically the stand for D or, or the process ahead data, that would be picking up length and diameter. So it's got shape deflection, but it doesn't have those physical parameters, which it needs to go to our sweep tables. Yeah. Other question, Eric. Um, I've got a question. It's um, just a video is very impressive. Since you mentioned you need a powerful computer to be able to uh, uh, be able to uh, run your code. Does that mean um, you need to have a powerful computer in the processor? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so sorry, a nice question from, from Eric, uh, which is with regard to, uh, you know, Perry has noted that his computer wasn't powerful enough to do real time uh, visualization or interpretation of this particular video. So Eric's question was, how powerful, I guess, or would you need a powerful computer in every harvester, harvesting machine to be able to run this type of uh, software? Uh, no, actually, you don't have have to have the actual powerful computer in the processor head. But uh, because I need to test a lot of different conditions, and uh, sometimes it will crash because the data set is a little bit uh, bad. So actually, in the actual situation, after you achieve the video state, you don't have to actually using put a pretty, pretty good computer inside the processor head. It's, you know, okay. yeah. So once you simplify the software yeah, yeah, interpretation, yeah. the uh, opportunity is to optimize that within a, a, in a computer network. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Questions from our Zoom audience? I've got probably a dumb question from the forestry. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically culture. Also. And then it's, it's too, too yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So that was just a clarification around sweep. Yeah, no. If a log is too bent from a from our non forestry audience member, yeah, if a log is too bent, it may go to a pulp uh, uh, or a biomass type opportunity, as opposed to trying to cut it up and make lumber out of it. So yeah. Yeah, I've I've got a question for you, Perry. Yep. Yeah. Firstly, uh, congratulations on a on an excellent study. Um, I guess what you've done here is you've you've um, developed a proof of concept of using cameras to automatically or to automate the sweep assessment. So well done on that. Yep, thank you. Um, one of the benefits that you stated early on was to improve um, value recovery and um, and productivity. And I guess uh, you know you've sort of uh, covered the questions have covered the productivity side of things. Um, is is the next step then to in order to try and prove value recovery improvements from the automation, would the next step be to compare the automated system with um, against a manual uh, operator who who is um, operating the the process ahead without the automated system? Uh, yes, for this question, basically the next step of this project is achieve the automatically calculated sweep in the real time. So that's the next step. And after you achieve this, after you achieve the real time one, and you can compare with the, you know, compare with the manual harvesting, manual processing, you know, just like uh, how the value, how the value difference and how the productivity difference. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks very much, and well done. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Great. Yeah. So thank you very much, Gary. Yeah. It's done.